Career and technical education programs in Illinois provide instruction for careers in high wage, high skill, and in demand occupations. Career and technical education courses give you the chance to explore your interests, develop marketable skills that can lead to higher paying jobs, and broaden your career options while earning credit towards your high school diploma. Career and technical education courses combine classroom instruction with hands on laboratory experiences. The Galesburg Area Vocational Center provides a variety of sophisticated occupational training programs. Competency-based instruction provides hands-on learning experiences for students as they learn by performing actual job skills and are evaluated on the basis of what they can do and how well they can do it. We serve our area high schools, Abingdon, Williamsfield, Galesburg, Knoxville, Rova, Monmouth, United, and West Central. We offer many programs in our vocational center, such as automotive technology, where we provide students with experiences that include occupational shop task skills, electrical component teardown and assembly, engine overhaul, brakes, general repair, and preventative maintenance. Students will learn the proper procedures of troubleshooting, diagnosis, and repair, and also gain knowledge of how to use resources, tools, and test equipment found in modern automotive repair facilities. We also offer a GABC Automotive Technology II class, which is offered at the campus of Carl Sandburg College. It is offered in a dual credit format, and this course is designed to foster an awareness and understanding of the automotive servicing industry. Students in my class will learn the basics of how the automobile operates, uh, learn all the systems in the automobile, and learn how to do light maintenance and uh, general repairs on the vehicles. This will give them a good idea of how things work in a repair shop. Um, let them know, you know what they could expect if they do go to work at a dealership as a technician. Um, but it also gives them the opportunity to save some money. Car repairs are expensive these days. I took my automotive one there and then I started my automotive two with the GAVC program. And then after my GAVC program got finished, ended up going on to college, finishing up my automotive degree. We offer many technology courses such as AP Computer Science Principles which is an introductory college-level computing course that introduces students to the breadth of the field of computer science. We also offer a wide variety of technology courses to students such as AR, VR development, drone operation and maintenance, emerging technologies, and web development. All these courses are designed to introduce students to new and emerging technologies. The range of technology includes, but is not limited to, drones, robotics, artificial intelligence, electronics, computer technologies, game art and design, and 3D modeling and rendering. We have to know how to produce, um, how to market, how to develop inside the, the metaverse. We start off by doing some virtual reality with Oculus headsets. Um, we use Unity as our development software. It creates three-dimensional worlds um, that allows you to create it and manipulate it, um, but also you can create augmented reality. And augmented reality is be able to create apps that uh, graphics will pop up in front of you. In web development, I help design the website. I also have started helping the school with videos and uh, graphics, which is cool to spread my wings out and do a lot of different stuff. I'm also working on VR stuff. I'm making a few games here and there, and you know, like it's making games with VR and AR. It's cool. GABC Emerging Technologies course, um, and that course is going to dive into all the new stuff that's coming out. You know, we're going to do like a lot of 3D printing. We're going to do you know AR VR stuff. The doors open to whatever new technologies out there. We're going to get our fingers on. You're going to learn how to build drones, but also how to pilot them, um, how they work, the physics, um, the laws and regulations. They will have the opportunity to be FAA certified as a commercial drone pilot. You're just coming in here to, you know, basically do one of your hobbies. Like, I love game development anyway, 
So doing a VR IR course is like perfect because it's just coming here and doing what I love doing anyway. You know, if you have that interest and it intrigues you to see how things work, you know, that you use on a day-to-day -day basis, how can you develop for that phone? How can you develop for that, uh, that computer app that you have? Um, that's what I'm looking for because you can always figure it out. In today's world, there's enough information and knowledge out there that if you want to figure something out, you just have to find out how to find it out, how to figure it out. In the Building Trades course, students will gain insight and hands-on experience with new home projects. Students will be given the opportunity to participate in the different phases of residential construction. Plan learning activities will allow students to become knowledgeable of fundamental principles and methods to develop technical skills related to building codes, blueprint reading, concrete, and carpentry work. These technical skill experiences will include plumbing, roofing, siding, drywalling, finish work, insulation, electrical and heating installation, window and door installation, painting, and all the details involved in completing a new home. Kids learn a lot about residential construction. We cover everything from foundations all the way up the roofs. And then we cover a lot of the systems inside the house too. So we cover the HVAC, plumbing, electrical, heating, all that stuff as well. What, what you can get out of this class is you're going to get a lot of hands-on experience. You get the opportunity to do an OSHA safety training that's designated for construction. So if you go into a construction trade, you have your construction 10-hour OSHA safety training, and that's good for your lifetime once you've taken that. Our beginning machining course is designed to create metal parts using various machine tools and equipment. This dual credit opportunity includes interpreting specifications for machines using blueprints, sketches, or descriptions of parts, repairing and using lathes, milling machines, shapers, and grinders with skill, safety, and precision. We also offer an advanced machining course where students will receive college credit with Carl Sandburg College and will focus on project-based lathe work and setup, CNC milling processes, and CNC troubleshooting. We make signs for you know for yourself or for people in the community we've been getting into making 3d uh, sculptures uh, i took beginning machining and advanced machining um i think a lot of the stuff that i learned was familiarity so like being familiar with the control panels and different terms and different tools and things like that which i think is really helpful instead of just coming in here blind and not knowing what anything is i think it's really helpful I would definitely say that you should take the opportunity because I wouldn't be here without the GAVC class and I'm grateful for that. So I think other people should take that opportunity as well because it's a good job and it's easy to get into it if you can take advantage of that. They've definitely prepared me a lot more than I would have been just jumping into it. It gives, it helps a lot. It doesn't give you as much as experience as you'd expect, but it gives you a ton of knowledge so that you can apply that knowledge once you get into the field. But it is super rewarding knowing that you're making parts for any industry. I think it's definitely worth it. I mean, GABC got me here. So I've been working here since I graduated. The welding and fabrication class is held at the Center for Manufacturing Excellence at Carl Sandburg College. This class is designed for students who are planning a career in either production or job shop industrial welding. The main objective is to acquire the skills and the knowledge necessary to enter industry as a beginning welder. The course will include stick, arc welding, MIG welding, TIG welding, plasma cutting, cutting torches, brazing, braze welding, submerged arc, blueprints, and shop safety. Students will receive college credit in addition to high school credit for this class. I'm a welder at Harvester Works. Um, probably the best experience I've had so far in my life. I'm currently working as a heavy duty uh, diesel tech. I work on semis and trailers and I do transmissions, clutches, motor work. Everything on a semi and a trailer is basically what I work on. I've taken welding and CNC and they were both really good classes to take. I think it's a really good starting point for you if you want to get into either of those because your school pays for part of it first off, second off, it's just you are in class with people more your age. It's just a good class to take, I feel. My favorite moments are probably working with everyone else and trying to problem solve on stuff we're trying to make at the time. This website we use called Fusion 360, and we design the things we're gonna make on there. Sometimes it's complicated, so you gotta kinda figure out what you're gonna do, and if you have any problems, figure that out as well. If you want to pursue 
something that you love uh, and you know a spark is ignited inside you, um, you shouldn't second guess it. Culinary Occupations is a program that is designed to give students practical experiences needed for the development of culinary and workplace skills. Safety and sanitation instruction and classroom application will prepare students for an industry recognized sanitation exam. Classroom experiences will include event planning, customer service and relations, food service styles, baking and pastry arts, hors d'oeuvres, and breakfast cookery. Students will be provided opportunity training experiences on commercial equipment. So GVC Culinary Occupations, it's a full year course that you're gonna get restaurant level skills in and you're going to get the precision exam to get a certificate and you also get a chance to go on an internship and work in the community and work at places like Landmark, Bake, Craft Butcher and Deli, Iron Spike, Boxcar Express, anything like that. So I have some former students that are working out at the watering hole out of Oak Run. I have a student that works at Innkeepers and then I have some students who have moved on to Illinois Central College in Peoria to pursue their culinary degree. Everyone likes a man who can cook so yeah so we just got done with one we had a chili cook-off and of course we won. Person made chili cheese fries. Another person made um, macaroni and cheese chili. So you put macaroni and then you put the chili over it. And we just made original chili and somehow we won. Just come and take it. You know, if you even if you don't love cooking, you might find something new that you do love about it. Um, and you know, it, it's always good to have an extra hobby so it keeps you occupied out of class. I would definitely say go for it. Um, don't be scared to do the classes. You know, um, you never know if you'll like something until you do it. I've always enjoyed cooking and baking, so uh, I figured I would give it a try as far as career choice, and it just continued on. It'd be a really good opportunity. It's a hands-on thing, and it personally, when I have hands-on, I learn more. The Early Childhood Education One class allows students to explore careers in childcare, early childhood education, or elementary education. Students will gain work experience with children in a laboratory setting. Educational experience includes participation as teachers and teacher assistants in child care centers, pre-K classrooms, and elementary schools. The Early Childhood Education 2 class expands on the knowledge and skills from Early Childhood Education 1. This course will develop leadership skills and responsibilities at the early childhood and elementary education level. Along with that, we offer the Intro to Teaching course, which introduces students to the foundations of what being a teacher is all about. Using the Educators Rising platform, students will gain an understanding about the character, responsibilities, and rewards of teaching. Students will participate in experiential learning by observing and helping in their district classrooms after completing their first semester of coursework. In the Early Childhood Education One, we learn about children and how to work in those environments. And then the kids go out to job sites at Bright Futures and in elementary schools and work with the children. Since it is an introduction to teaching class, we do focus on the absolute basics. Those things that uh, relationships, uh, professionalism, organization, those things that what makes a good teacher? If I asked you what makes a good teacher, that's what this class well, is. Because I got to actually go out to the job sites and go to Silas and work with a teacher and work with the kids at the school. But I feel like I am the teacher because I'm teaching the kids how to fix the math problem. I love the experience. I've always wanted to be a teacher, like since I was six years old, like that's the only job I've ever wanted. And so like getting to experience it is incredible every day it's like having it's like getting to be a teacher but early and it's so fun it is more hands-on because you're working with kids you're doing lesson planning and you're kind of being like a teacher but with an assistant but actually being able to be in the classroom and experience it and to talk to the kids and to see what works for them and like what doesn't is, is really helpful take this class the teacher is amazing she will help you through your problems. Because of this class, it made me realize I really want to be a teacher and I really have the heart for kids and just being an educator. Well, at first I was not sure, but now that I'm in the uh, teaching classes, I know that I want to go into elementary. If you love kids and love to see how they grow and how to learn how to guide them correctly so they choose um, the right things to do, I would say take this class. Whether you even kind of sort of think maybe you want to consider potentially being a teacher someday, or you just want to figure out ways that you can get along with other people better in a leadership role, this class would be something that would be worth your time.
The fire science program is designed to prepare students for entry-level firefighter positions. Students will learn through classroom and guided practice activities. These essentials of fire suppression, which includes fire department orientation and terminology, understanding fire behavior, wearing personal protective clothing, performing forcible entry, carrying and raising ladders, operating self-contained breathing apparatus, employing search and rescue techniques, working with ventilation tools and practicing hose evolutions on an operating fire engine, all in safety conscious Science environment. Science program, the students will learn about uh, basically what goes on in the fire service the, from day-to-day -day operations to individual skills throughout, um, different duties we do on a fire scene, different uh, objectives and, and roles that we play on a fire scene. Taking the fire science class definitely got me prepared to join the volunteer department. Gives you the basics of everything going on, how to be comfortable in your gear and comfortable with the tools you use. The students that are interested in helping um, helping the public, uh, being a, having that rewarding feeling of, uh, of making a difference in people's lives, uh, being able to help somebody in their time of need, and, uh, and being called to, to assist in, a, in areas that aren't otherwise uh, you know, planned. Yeah, so on fire sites, each one of us has our own gear, uh, boots, pants, coat, helmet, we're on air, air packs, everything from fire hydro hoses all the way up to climbing four stories on a ladder, crawling through tight spaces, going through a collapse house, simulating that what a house would do during a fire if it were to collapse. If anybody's going career fire, I would definitely suggest that GABC class. I think you should try it out. I mean, it's there's a lot of cool programs here. Um, if you don't know what you want to do, there's a bunch of different options here. And like, I'm only going to college for one year. All my friends are older. I'm going to graduate before all of them, right? So that's really cool. And I've really enjoyed the experience out here. We also offer an introduction to law enforcement class, which helps students develop a basic understanding of criminal justice agencies, their operations, objectives, and basic purposes. Career opportunities are also examined within the criminal justice field. The various types of specialities within a police department are also investigated. My name is Rod Riggs and I teach the GABC law enforcement program here at Gelsberg High School. Uh, this class goes over the criminal justice system in general, uh, talks about all the different jobs that you can have in criminal justice, not only police work, but corrections, the courts, uh, forensics. In this class you'll be able to do traffic stops. We have a squad car we use for traffic stops. Uh, we do that quite a bit. We'll also uh, talk about handcuffing, building searches, room entries, and many, many, many other things. It's a fun class. I try to keep it that way. It's hands-on, and you'll be busy, and you'll, keep, and you'll keep working in the class. I try to make it a nice experience. I was a police officer for 33 years, and I believe I can bring a lot of experience to you. So, hope to see you in class. The Health Occupations class is a course that will foster an awareness and understanding of the health care pathway. Classroom instruction introduces medical terminology, the concepts of professionalism, confidentiality, medical safety, and ethics. During the lab at local clinical sites and through hands-on experiences, students develop skills in basic patient care. Upon successful completion of this course, students may take the written examination for Certified Nurses Assistant Certification to become a CNA. One of the things they're going to learn in order to become a certified nursing assistant is they're going to learn um, activities of daily living and how to assist people and help people, um, elderly people and those who are maybe disabled with um, their personal care. Activities of daily living such as uh, having breakfast, eating lunch, uh, taking a bath, brushing their teeth, um, making a bed, um, how to position somebody while they're in bed, how to help somebody get up, how to help somebody ambulate, which is to walk been so fortunate to have a lot of Galesburg High School students with us. Um, we do clinicals here for CNA program. Uh, we've been able to hire and bring on a lot of the CNAs uh, that go through the Galesburg program. This is a great experience and a great beginning class. We will touch upon all the disciplines in the medical world and you will get a little bit of an idea of what things that they might do. So I would highly suggest that if you were interested in the medical field to take this class. I felt more than anything, I felt a big leap in maturity more than anything with having 
to take one-on-one -on -one care with people and patients. Do not just look at it as a CNA program that this is what you do in nursing homes. You just take people to the bathroom. It is so much more than that. It's the biggest preparation to nursing because you are already getting your foot into the door talking with nurses and getting their opinions. The CNA class was the foundation of everything I started. It was the first nursing course that I enrolled in and right now I have my Master's of Science in Nursing. Without the CNA class, that foundation of having the clinical experiences, the lab experiences, the theory experiences, all through the GABC program, it prepares you for anything that you want to do, whether it's um, a doctor, whether it's physical therapy, whether it's pharmacy, whether it's nursing, whether it's occupational therapy, no matter what healthcare course you go into, the CNA class is a great foundation. I tell United students to get involved because there is a drive, but it's always worth it, especially with the new friends you get to make and all the benefits that come out of it. I'm really happy to be a JBC student. The CEO program, which stands for Creating Entrepreneurial Opportunities, is a year-long course designed to utilize partnerships that provide an overview of business development and processes. Local businesses, community partners work with area students to create project-based experiences for students by providing meeting spaces, business tours, and one-on-one -on -one mentoring. Students visit area businesses, learn from guest speakers, participate in class business, write business plans, and start and operate their own businesses. The partnerships between local businesses and industry improve the quality and relevance of our programming while connecting students to the world of work. Benefits to businesses for engaging schools and students include developing more robust talent pipelines, assessing a diverse and innovative labor pool, earning a reputation for being a great place to work, and boosting business prospects. Whether you have the resources to create paid internships for students or can spare a few moments to have a conversation with a student, the Galesburg Area Career Center could use your expertise and help. In respect to Pegasus Manufacturing, it has become the, the key resource for us to, to find new employees. And so we decided to invest our resources, time and energy into young people. And so Galesburg High School and GAVC itself became the well spawn of that. And today, as you walk through the shop, unusual for an aerospace quality company, this company is certified to ASD 9100D. That means defense aircraft. And here we have probably 65%, if not 70% of our employees that are younger than 35 years of age. And where I came from at General Dynamics, they all kind of look like I do. Lots of gray hair. I think I can emphasize enough of how important it has been for us here at Seminary Village to be a part of the Galesburg system. It's, it has helped our CNAs understand um, the critical role in showing and helping the new CNAs come on board and teaching. They, they help us with our patient care. They've come in, they're scared to death, and by the time they leave here, they know what they're doing. The Galesburg Vocational Center is a wonderful resource for our community, and I would highly recommend any local employers to go out and take a look at the facility. It's a beautiful state-of-the-art facility. There's a lot of young talent out there. The skills, the trades, is kind of this dying art that needs to be rejuvenated. How do you make it work and why does it not work? Having that type of skill set is really what everybody's looking for right now. We need students with different skills. This facility, as you can see, and hopefully you'll come through here and see all the different opportunities that kids have to develop skills that will lead them into the next uh, era of their life. What skills are we giving our graduates so they can be effective in the world? The partnerships that have been established and that are continuing to be established are are the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit, frankly. Workforce is the number one economic barrier to growth in this region. Every day when I talk to companies, they tell me I need welders, I need CNC programmers, I need nurses, I need diesel techs, I need, uh, I need more people in the building trades, we need people that have CDLs. Together we can build a skilled workforce by aligning our local talent and bringing education and community together. There are several opportunities for us to do this. You could join our career fair, you could become a guest speaker in our classroom, or you could provide a company tour, become a member of our advisory group, or create mock interviews for our students, become a mentor, provide job shadow experiences for our students, or internships. 
If you would like to partner with the Galesburg Area Vocational Center, contact us at 309-973-2005 or you can email us at dable at galesburg205.org or you could visit our website at gabc.org.